Hey, fellas. Hello. We. Oui. Let me tell you something. Uh, we like to do this show and uh, a lot of people like to listen to it. And some of those people are awesome and want to give us a little bit of cash. We like to do this show even on days when the technical difficulties that you never hear are making us half (laughs) fucking insane. We really hope you don't hear it. Uh, There may be some slight differences. Uncle Doug may sound weird sometimes. You never know. I sound weird most of the time. It's been a day. Uh, but we, but regardless of that, people still seem to value what we do and we owe them thanks for that. Uh, Indeed. so got a lot of folks to thank today. Uh, thanks go to Tim, Julie, Kat, uh, and then this person who calls themselves and please don't flatter Uncle Doug like this in the future, <laughs> but for now... They're calling themselves Uncle Doug does more to me with his voice than most men can do with their hands. (laughs) Well, hello. (laughs) Congratulations on that, Uncle Doug. Uh, (laughs) Betty, thank you so much. Dave, uh, Ariel, uh, Crystal, Tim. Hey, Tim. Uh, And we owe some heavens. Damn. Oh, boy. Uh, we We got some people coming in strong. So, Uncle Doug... Uh, you, we have a, 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 a once, a, a current patron has bumped their patronage up so high that even though, uh, they were, they, they were saying they didn't necessarily need a heaven, we're giving it. All right. So uncle Doug, you're giving your heaven to Devin. All right, Devin, you may not want one, but you're getting a heaven anyway. You see Devin? You motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. De- 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 people should know. Devin wrote in to tell us that, that she had to bump her patronage down a bit. But she's she's returned to the heaven level. Um, she's however, she passed grew- the heaven level. But no, she passed the heaven level. Excuse she, me. Yeah, she yeah. shot over the heaven level. She and overshot is now the out. celestial kingdom. That's yeah, right. Exactly. And she graci- graciously said that we didn't need to bestow a heaven on her. Uh, but then she called uh, me out for saying for sa- sainting her with a saint that I had apparently already used. <laughs> you, Listen you, here, you Devin. Double sainted. <laughs> Listen here, Devin. Your uncle Doug is how do you say sometimes not that creative. So sue me. <laughs> yeah. And furthermore, did it ever occur to you that maybe, just maybe, two people could have the same saint? I mean, hmm? Who are you to call me out in private? What do you think you are, smarter than me? Are you some kind of brain sciencey thing, huh? She is. Well, Devin. 100% she is. She is, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a fact. Um, you said you don't want a heaven, but you're not getting off that easy. For your petulance and clear superior value to society over me, here's your heaven. <laughs> When the piano lands on your head and you are squashed out of this earthly existence, (laughs) in the twinkling of an eye, you are transported to what looks like, at least to your primitive eyes, the perfect city of the future. Incredible, impossible gleaming towers stretch into the clouds. Trains that seem to run on invisible tracks silently stream by above. The streets are shiny metal, polished to a mirror-like finish. She went to Atlas Shrugged Heaven, is that what you're saying? (laughs) Uh, It's not crowded, but there are people. Beautiful people. Tall, fit, well-dressed. They enthusiastically greet you as as they pass you by. You notice the ground level of each building is a super high-end retail uh, store. Clothing, purses, watches, shoes, all with brand names you've never heard of and of a quality you'd never thought possible. You also notice that each of these items has a small tag inscribed with, free for Devon. (laughs) Um, Dispersed to the retail shops are five-star restaurants. With the rich smell of the world's finest French, Italian, Chinese, Mexican, and Moroccan cuisine, each taking turns enticing your nostrils. In each restaurant, there's a sign in the window, no waiting for Devon, come on in. (laughs) As you stroll down the flawless avenue, you pass a five-star hotel. You glimpse in to see a lobby of such exquisite ornateness, it just takes your breath away. In the middle, there's a gold stanchion with the words, presidential suite reserved for Devon. You turn, down, you, you turn around and take in the vista, the perfect street in the perfect city for the perfect person, or at least the person who thinks she's perfect, more perfect than me anyway. <laughs> Your eye catches something unexpected. A tall, beautiful woman who looks ever so much like Lapita Nyong'o strides, strides along like, as though she was on a runway. But wow, she's missing a hand. That's <laughs> weird. Across the street, you see a beautiful man like Chris, Chris Hemsworth as Thor but in a wonderfully tailored suit, but he's missing an entire arm. Another woman with olive skin and black silky hair to her waist passes and smiles at you. She's missing every other tooth. You realize as you look around, everyone, everyone is missing something. 
The illusion of utter perfection begins to shatter as you start to cross the street. So you don't notice that you're crossing against the light. All the beautiful people, all the beautiful yet incomplete people stop and stare at you in horror. A booming voice rains down from heaven and says, jaywalking is not allowed. <laughs> that voice, it's, it's your voice. Then you hear a little pop, almost like a knuckle cracking. So you look down at your right hand and your index finger is gone. No blood, no scar, almost like it was never there in the first place. You retreat back across the street and collapse on the curb, trying to figure out what's going on. That voice, your voice, rings out again. Loitering is not allowed. Pop. There goes your middle finger. <laughs> you pull yourself to your feet and stumble over to a store window. You put your hand on it to stabilize yourself, and again, your voice comes booming. Smudging windows and bad posture are not allowed. Pop. <laughs> pop. You look in horror at the lonely thumb on your right hand as you realize what your eternity now is. Your heaven is to live up to the exacting standards of an all-powerful, all-seeing you. <laughs> you could have gone a little easier on your audio uncles, but it's too late now, so enjoy. Pop. <laughs> this is what you get for giving us a lot of money, people. <laughs> right. Screw you, you generous fuck. Yeah. Oh, Devin, enjoy that. <laughs> Good Lord. Wow. Okay, well, you know, Devin's not the only, like, utterly generous person out there, and I now have to give a heaven as well. And this heaven goes to Naomi. Hmm. So, uh, Naomi, this one's for you. Space. The final frontier. Well, yours anyway. Because, like the Mormons, your everlasting journey beyond this mortal coil ain't going to take place on this pale blue dot. No, Naomi, you're going to the furthest reaches of the universe in an adventure that will have you on the edge of your captain's chair. That's right, Naomi. You're going to sci-fi heaven. <laughs> Afterlife log. Stardate unclear. <laughs> We've sounded yellow alert as we, as we are venturing deep into the Cylon Nebula, where no one has gone before. Other than, the all, other than all the people who have, of course. We've engaged our Vorlon drive to ensure maximum speed as our beryllium hyperspace, hyperspace modulators have been offline. We hope to soon make contact with the holographic beings on the distant planet of Alpha Omicron Pi, where, if we make it through their hazing ritual, we will pledge to keep their society safe. <laughs> That's right, Naomi. Your afterlife will be a nonstop saga, traveling to uncharted reaches of space, reaching out to unknown civilizations, and then coming back to refuel, pick up some replacement red shirts, and report <laughs> on what you saw and did. Fire proton torpedoes. There are Grand Moff Tarkins on the starboard bow. <laughs> Tune your universal translator to the weirding way to hear the strange but beautiful song of the mysterious race known as the Tricorders. Let's go back to the bar at the spaceport and drink some Daleks as we laugh about our adventures on Huragok 5 floating down the River Tam. Of course, always being in places where you... Don't know what to expect can lead to a strange feeling that things are never quite right. Anxiety will be your constant companion as you hurtle through vasty nothingness, trying to make sense of it all. Why do the race known as the Glitter Boys always attack us, even after we've made peace? Why do we swear not to disturb alien civilizations we deem not ready for contact, but then inevitably barge into their lives somehow? Why can I never find Vogons big enough to fit my feet? <laughs> Eventually, as you pass through the season after season, you'll realize that it all starts to feel a little formulaic. You'll spend entire missions focused on the character development <coughs> of a single crew member. Encounters <laughs> with alien life will become increasingly dramatic. And then one day, your command will be canceled. And you'll have to and you'll have to go to a new interplanetary union to give you a ship and crew, just so you'll have some sense of purpose. Because once you've seen the stars, that homestead back in Labar, Iowa, loses all its folksy luster. <laughs> so back into space with you, Naomi. Fire all your hollow decks. Pew pew. <laughs> Drink some Qui Gon gin, and then Ferengi right back to your reavers for some well-deserved Cree droid. Mandalorian! 
<laughs> four, you know, four, four nerds just <clears throat> literally died of an aneurysm right now. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, so there you go. Thank you guys so much for for your uh, support. We yes. appreciate it. <clears throat> Remember that there is, a, we forgot to mention at the top of the show, there is a Zoom meetup coming up this Wednesday. If you hear this by then, uh, all of our uh, patrons have access to an early version of the show, so they'll have heard it. Uh, so write into us at uh, howto at howtoheretic dot com, and put Zoom in the uh, in the subject line if you want to be a part of that. And if you want to become a patron yourself, you can always go to howtoheretic dot com and click on the support us or whatever it is button. Yep. And then uh, and then you get to give us money. What a privilege that is for you. <laughs> You will be blessed. You will be, it's seed money. It's really seed money. So, and if you can't give us seed money, you can give us seed stars, like just like Dan was talking about uh, with right. Naomi's Heaven. So, uh, give us five stars. It's free. It doesn't there's no no skin off your nose, uh, and it just helps us feel a little better about us ourselves because we're just miserable middle aged men. So do that, and uh, we love you. Thank you so much. Stay safe, and let's move on.